Hey guys, it's Luch, and I have a documentary that I watched that I cannot recommend highly enough. It is so good. Now, I'm obsessed with photographers, rock photographers. So when I heard about this documentary about the photographer Jim Marshall, it's called Show Me the Picture, the Story of Jim Marshall. And you're thinking, who's Jim Marshall? Who's Jim Marshall? Think of any photograph basically from the 60s to the 80s of every huge band you can think of. He started his career in San Francisco in the Haight-Ashbury, so he was there for all the hippie stuff. He was at Woodstock. He was there photographing Janice. Then he kind of went into this jazz world and he made friends with John Coltrane and Miles Davis, who was notoriously very difficult to break through the outer shell. And he was great friends with these people. He speaks of the subjects he photographs with such reverence and that he respected them so much. It stands his work apart. He wasn't like paparazzi. He was everywhere but he became friends with these bands. Of course he was a nut job too. He had a great love for guns and cocaine, which is always a great combination, and spent a little time in jail. In fact, he was so kooky that they didn't even put him in real jail because they knew he'd get completely eviscerated. So he actually spent time in sort of a little offshoot of jail, but I think he shot a neighbor who can't relate to that. Um, but the word iconic is so overused and I get that, but when you think of Johnny Cash, that's Jim Marshall right there. He was there at San Quentin. He was there doing the Folsom Prison shots. He did all the Grateful Dead. He did all of the hippie stuff. He also was the last photographer to shoot the Beatles' last concert ever. He was out there, had access to everything, and you see him in the footage, he's in the shot everywhere, but really not like a staged thing. He's just there capturing the exact moment. And some of the stuff that I honestly think that was most fascinating to me was that Dennis Hopper admitted to having based his character in Apocalypse Now on Jim Marshall. Can you think of that character right now? He was a kind man, he was a good man. So the guy was a character, he was troubled, 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 troubled. And they said that it was based on the fact that he was Syrian but brought up Catholic. So this, this story is incredible. You don't have to love photographers, but honestly, the Jim Marshall story documentary is so worth it. It, I believe it aired at South by Southwest to huge applause and great reviews. And so we'll keep an eye on when it uh, becomes available for streaming because it is a must see.